I am not excited about Bitcoin. I think it's an outrage that in an era of global warming, there are racks of servers next to the Columbia River. Like, I wish I could explain to the salmon that we have created a dam generating hydroelectric power so that we can generate a fake currency. Um, <laughs> like, how would they feel about that? Um, do you Amazon. guys ever think, like, you know how you go to the grocery store? Oh, there's Amazon, thank you. You know how you go to the grocery store and you think all of this is going to become poop. In the same way, <laughs> I see everything coming through the front door and I try to explain that since our house is of a finite size, an equal amount has to be going through the back door. We now have a second recycling bin because of Amazon. And by the way, it's free. I resisted it for like five years and then I found out it was free and so, Knock yourself out. You just ruined grocery shopping for me. <laughs> like you come home, you're really upset about something at work, you're standing there in the rain with water dripping off your helmet, and you see this bright scene in the kitchen of you and your kids and you just think, I can't F with that. I've got to go crazy when I get in there and say how excited I am to see my kids. But if it was just me, I'd probably get a bag of Doritos and go down into the basement and cry myself to death. <laughs> but I do think it's the fundamental challenge. Behind a driven person is just an enormous amount of misery. You have to be miserable with the status quo to want to change it.